and this should actually be a super cool looking uh, window as there's always that kind of window in a barn. I think that really completes the look a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to iCraft MC's World. In this episode of our amazing Let's Play here, we're going to be finally building a barn for our animals. A really cool one, kind of red and white, uh, right over there. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Today's banner also needs a skull charge, a flower charge, and a thing charge. Made with a piece of paper and an enchanted golden apple, uh, oxide daisy, and a wither skeleton skull, respectively. We're going to start with a light blue banner and green dye in the green skull charge shape. Next, we're going to go on to a brown flower charge, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to go on to a yellow thing which is this pattern right here. Then we're, we're gonna go on to a yellow rondel, which is this pattern right here. And we're gonna end off last but not least with a light blue per face inverted, which is this pattern right here. And you can see what it makes, it makes a taco banner. Oh, this is a super cool banner. You know, food banners are always cool. And a taco is just kind of a really nice food, one of my favorites. And I think overall taco banners in Minecraft, pretty cool thing. So we'll put it out here in our cool banner garden here, right next to some of our other interesting banners here, like the cat or the banana. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out over here, and we're going to build the barn. Oh, it looks like someone's at the door. And it looks like, I can see through the door, is Jonas Marriott. Hey Jonas. So Jonas will actually be helping us today build the barn, as it is a rather big project. So my idea is, is we're going to build the barn from about here, all in this area right here and kind of just make a normal shaped barn this is roughly a rectangle now i have a whole bunch of supplies on me right here and i'll put those down here uh, but first uh, we're going to use some fireworks because why not uh, these are some really cool leftover fireworks i have from my thousand subscriber special and you can see there it was my eyeball and some purple and magenta anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, quickly lay out where the floor goes first and i'm thinking the one corner is going to be here i always tend to go about two blocks out from the edge on anything that's going to be the one corner and over here is going to be the second corner and we'll just make sure that's a good size one oh please break really quickly uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh, we want it to be an even numbers we're gonna go 16 like that 16 across sounds good to me so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four i think twenty four sounds pretty good i hope i actually counted that correctly i'll just go real quick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four perfect so everything within this space here needs to be dug out and replaced with mom moss blocks which I have in the chest right there there Jonas and of course with the moss blocks look somewhat similar to grass but you know it can be sort of more of a soft bedding for animals stuff like that so now of course as Jonas works on that we're gonna be doing the actual barn construction itself which is gonna be made out of white concrete and red concrete powder as well as a bunch of birch items uh, but of course we'll get out the concrete first we'll grab all this Okay, and we'll just get our inventory a little bit organized here, so it can be a bit easier to work with here. Maybe, maybe put some useless items away, like the grass block there. So if the edge of the actual floor of the barn is there, which I guess I messed this up a little bit, but that should be okay. Uh, so that'll be the interior. Uh, but either way, we'll probably have the wall be about here. And we're going to think of like a good sized barn, they're usually pretty big. So let's say maybe that's one, two, three, four, five. It's five pretty good. Let's say six, and then we'll go across on six, and we'll see about how that looks, just with a little bit here. I always find it's good to kind of test out how things kind of look. Ah, uh, that looks a little bit short. I'm going to say let's go up eight. So uh, it should be fine. I think we've got a lot of concrete, and of course concrete is a actually pretty easy item to get. Also a good thing I came back anyway, because this is a little bit uh, too close. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is basically going to be making the really cool white frame around our barn. So uh, here we go. This is eight across. And of course, just go across here like this for the big square frame there. And this will just be a really cool way of kind of having the whole thing work like that. And also go to about here. 
So place the one block there and go up like this. And here is our frame. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with the entire frame building process. So I'm going to do a quickly uh, make the rest of this frame like this all the way around the rest of this thing. And as, as I work on that, Jonas Marriott will also be working on digging this out. So I'm going to make the entire frame on this and I'll be right back. All right, so we now have a frame on this. We now want to find the exact middle, and I believe this is 16 blocks here. So we'll count, let's say, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, like this. And from here, one, two, three, four, five. And we can see here we have about four blocks in the middle. That sounds like a good barn-sized entrance, since they are usually quite large. So we'll just do a bit of a, uh, let's say, three blocks tall. So two, three, and they'll go four up, so we can actually have this be uh, three blocks on the inside. I think we'll break the corners so we have a bit of a rounded look. Uh, now, of course, most barns aren't actually square like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a nice curved roof on here made out of birch and made out of birch slabs. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly up here and we're going to make that. We basically want this to kind of come out another block out from here. And they usually kind of slope in an interesting way. I should think I have some uh, birch blocks in here I can grab, which could be very useful for parts of this. We'll just put away some of this red concrete for now. Two, clear up our inventory space a bit to grab some of this birch. Two, turn into birch planks. All right, so with all these birch items together now, we're going to work on this. So I'm thinking just kind of a standard roof. So we're going to go maybe, not like this, uh, maybe two down. That could be good. I guess it'll hang out possibly maybe a little bit. Hard to say. So we'll go like this. Maybe put that on the edge. Uh, it might look better once it's done. We'll go up like this. And we'll go two over like this. And we're basically just kind of creating the sloped roof. So we'll go up like this. Then for the top, it'll probably go up one, two, like this. Then over. And the same over here. Kind of just creating ourselves a somewhat circular area. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now from there, we're going to go up one, like this. And like this, let's say maybe two stairs like that. All right, that looks pretty good. And uh, ooh, I forgot to press space again. I fall, fell down there. Okay, right over here. And we're going to go here. And we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to go one over and like this. So again, we're kind of just creating ourselves a uh, roughly circular shape. It doesn't have to be perfect as uh, really nothing is perfect. It looks like it's almost bedtime actually. So either Jonas and I will go, or Jonas or I will go to bed. I will go like this, and then we'll go like this, and there we go. Then we could probably just go straight across like this. Uh, now the best thing to do is to always see, does this look good? We're going to go back here, take a look. I think that looks pretty good. I just need to dig out this and put in some of the stairs. Just trying to, that'll give it the more of the round look there. So we'll take, get rid of this, and basically just get rid of all these unnecessary support blocks we have here. And just replacing them here with birch stairs and that should definitely complete the more round look so again just getting rid of all these corner pieces actually i guess we didn't get rid of that one so we'll just put that back there like this and of course just giving ourselves a nice rounded shape for this barn roof and also this barn roof will stick out one more from this uh, so we'll start by doing this that looks like i keep placing these wrong of course the way to place them right is to have it on the top of the block there so anyway over here we're going to place this here and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. All right, let's see what this looks like here. It's probably going to look pretty good here. And I think it's pretty good. We just forgot uh, one stair right there. And there's that stair placed down. And now with one last final look, I think that's looking like a very good, nice round barn roof. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it go one out from that. So we're going to make it kind of... Uh, jut out once so we have a bit more of the 3d look that's uh, always good to make builds look as 3d as possible and i know that sounds a bit odd but a flat kind of very square build is never a good looking thing so what we're going to do is we're going to place that kind of in here like this and basically just completing ourselves with our nice square barn and just repeating the exact same thing all along like this because then what we can do is we can just kind of have this jutting out as if a real roof would because real roofs almost never stop you know the second they're at the edge of a building they kind of go out a little bit more because i believe that's to have rain not have rain damage i forget it's something like that though so we'll go like this on the side of our barn too and this should really look good and once we're done with that then i will uh quickly finish up the rest of the roof there so going around like this here it's actually quite simple just really filling in the roof here and of course just copying all the same blocks thankfully birch wood is not too hard to get and i found it's a really nice roof material so going back here we can see that yeah that looks super good 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna complete this across the entire back of this. So it's actually jutting out one block out of here too. And once I've done that, uh, I'll be right back. However, before I do that, what I'm gonna do real quick is also finish the interior frame on this. So we actually wanna get rid of some of this, but basically uh, just giving ourselves kind of a round frame to work with inside of here as well. That's just gonna kind of make things look a bit nicer and overall just make it look more 3D from the inside and the outside like this. So we'll basically just be getting rid of any stairs like that and kind of just making this have a pretty well round um, interior frame as well. And this will be kind of copied across uh, the front. And the reason why we're doing this is so that when you're in the inside, we'll also have a nice support frame look as well. And again, going back to take a look at this build, we can see that's looking really, really good. Okay, so again, like I said, I'll copy this on the way back and I'll be right back. All right, that was a lot of birch blocks, planks, and stairs later, but the roof of this barn is now done. And this is just about what it looks like here. I finished it on the other end here and also put the white rim there. And uh, Jonas here finished up the flooring rather quickly, so I ended up deciding to put down sub and I, I think, something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, one thing you might have noticed is that the floor here does get very, very dark. Uh, so what you'll probably want to do is put down a bunch of torches or lanterns uh, or whatever else here. It looks like Jonas is throwing egg there at me because I'm destroying what he put down. But uh, but anyway, yeah, so we can put these torches down here to avoid monsters spawning in here. Of course, later on we'll put some rooms in here, but for now this works quite well. All right, Jonas, that's enough eggs, I think. But uh, so let's see if I can get some eggs here maybe real quick. Uh, two can play at this game. Uh, but anyway, we'll want to uh, sleep her pretty quick. But, uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Anyway, alright. So, I think I have my purple bed on me. There we go. Alright, and we'll sleep. Looks like I'm also hungry. So, we'll get that. Looks like the leave bed is blocking that. Uh, but anyway, there we go. So, this is looking pretty good already. Now, there's one important feature of a barn. This is, of course, missing. That's red. Uh, most barns are red, at least most, you know, classic type of barns. Oh, it looks like there's a zombie here. Like, okay, there we go. Anyway, so I have a whole bunch of red concrete and stuff like this. We'll also get some for Jonas. It looks like he's planting some saplings over there as well, which is always a nice thing to do. Uh, so, the red is going to actually go one block inwards like this. So we'll have this really nice kind of look with this being like the supporting frame. That should look really cool. I'll get you some of that. This is a powder. Uh, so it does uh, act a little bit differently, but it's pretty similar. So uh, what I always will do is go like this and then put the water on later. And we're basically just going to put this around the entire edge, uh, then harden it. And then once it's hardened, then we can work on getting in some, maybe some windows. Uh, at the very least, I want to get some large uh, barn doors because a cool thing that most barns have are these kind of weird sliding doors you don't really see anywhere else where they're kind of these uh, large, almost, they almost look like a box on the side. There's like an X on them. Very, very interesting, but... Anyway, another thing I want to do here real quick before I forget is replace the uh, door over here. So I think that would go about here. Let's see what was it? it was one, two, three, then like this, then getting rid of this. As it's four across, I think. So two, three, four, and going like this. And we'll put this in all like this. So now we have a nice kind of red rim around here. And of course, for some of these, it's going to fall down. We'll do as much as we can for now. Uh, basically, yeah, like just just like that, Jonas. I don't think it'll be able to go over much more than that uh, before we harden some. But yeah, that's looking good already. So uh, let me just get some water here real quick so we can actually harden some of this uh, red concrete powder uh, because, of course, then we can place it and it will not be affected by gravity. It is funny what blocks are decided to and to not have gravity affect them like you would assume that uh, dirt would have gravity affect it, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, so we'll go over here. And we'll grab, I mean, you'd assume everything would be affected by gravity, obviously, but anyway, uh, so we'll grab some water there. And right over here, we're going to get ourselves our barn to be nice and yellow, uh, which is super cool. And Jonas is doing a really good job filling that in. Uh, so again, basically, yeah, just all the walls here can go up all the way as well. And of course, uh, the way that uh, this works is this will harden the concrete powder. Uh, as Jonas works on filling in those walls, I'm actually just going to harden up maybe about one stack of the concrete powder. There's actually a really, really quick and easy way of doing this. I'm going to show off right here if I can get through my crops here. Uh, let's get to any body of water. It's quite easy. 
and basically just hold right click and left click at the same time with the concrete being in your offhand and basically just holding both like this but what I'm doing right now it'll basically break it I'll harden it break it then the second it's broken we'll be placing another one down and as those are held then they'll basically keep going and you can just basically harvest these all into the concrete oh, that is not the powdered form and just super quick too I think it's I'm not sure exactly the speed but it is quite quick and of course haste B can make it even even quicker uh, in fact you might even be able to uh, do to insta mining I'm not sure there we go there's our full stack and we can just pick these up and of course if the body of water is not one that's kind of open like this it would be even easier but of our axolotl uh, dam here is actually a quite nice area so we'll go like that and there we go there's a stack of the red concrete that's uh, a bit darker now uh, so it does change the color a little bit uh, but anyway going up here what we can do is we can use this to frame around the edge of this uh, just like that and then we can place the powder on top of there uh, just like this and I'll move here before Jonas puts powder on top of me there uh, but no I think that's looking really nice a very classic looking barn uh, and uh, yeah so we'll just put this on here too and this is again just used to kind of make the pow powder be supported there uh, so we'll just put this all around the doorway like this uh, quite simple like that and then of course once that's done we can continue to fill in the powder like this just kind of up to the white line because it doesn't really need to be behind it we'll have a floor there eventually I guess actually it does need to because we need to have it up here so yeah so it'll actually go all the way up here might be a bit difficult to fill this part in so I think my trick will be is to fill it in like this and then once it's filled in to actually look backwards and then fill in every block that needs uh, to be filled in just like this that should be an easy way of doing it like this and really just give us a nice completed barn there okay, I'll probably finish up this side Jonas if you want to work over there all right and I'll put this in here and these will of course fall like that so I want to go from bottom to top and over here we can just fill all this in too like that and that's almost done there all right and so then over here uh, this is looking good as it is we'll do the exact same thing now this is here we can just continue to fill this in there uh, and it looks like it is getting dark up there as well which makes sense because this is kind of sealing in the light here so now that that's all filled in and as Jonas works on this some more uh, I'll show how to harden this up so basically what you want to do I don't believe these should be here uh, is basically just have the water up through this might destroy lanterns I'm not sure I uh, know it doesn't that's actually really useful uh, that's a good way to reason to have lanterns over any other thing uh, you in this barn but anyway you can use it like this it'll harden it up and you can basically kind of float in here and as you pick it up kind of place it in the next place where it needs to go uh, sometimes more successfully than other times but overall just kind of use that to place and replace the water like this time I kind of waterlogged something probably shouldn't have but it shouldn't really matter too much there and I'll just place that there to kind of get this stuff all really super saturated with uh, water. It's like I placed that in the wrong area. So we'll just pick that up here. It might be spilling at the top. I'm not sure. But you can already see there kind of a sampling of what this will look like. And barns are kind of a simple construction anyway. But I think this one's really turning out quite well. So I think I placed it just up here. Let's see if we can grab it. That hurt a lot. Okay. Uh, we're going to place this here. All right. We're going to get in the water here. And as that flows down, it doesn't have to flow all the way to the bottom uh, because it'll continue to flow. Once that's there, let's see if we can get it placed there. Uh, not quite, I think it's trying to place uh, right. Let's see if I can do this here. A bit of a complicated task, really, getting this to place correctly. There we go, finally. All right, that's going to all fill down there. And we'll put one more on the edge here. And that should be enough to harden up this entire side, which is good. Okay, so Jonas and I are going to finish up placing down all the concrete powder here and hardening it up like this. And I will be right back once we've done that. All right, Jonas and I have now finished placing down all the red terracotta and hardening it. I think it looks super, super cool here, and I think overall really makes a nice looking barn. There's a, oh goodness, there's a creeper right there. Let's see if we can get the creeper here. There's a bit of a close call there. I have to be very careful. I think there might be a cave around here. Good thing that did not destroy anything around here. That was kind of scary. Anyway, what we're going to want to do is basically actually inset this maybe because I want to make those really cool barn doors I was talking about and basically they're not actually going to really work as barn doors but they will be visually really cool looking uh, so we'll put it in just one block in like this that we're going to do is right here we're going to basically put uh, something just something like this in fact we could probably even simplify this more uh, to just something like you know what we could go like this I'm just going to change this around all the way right here. Basically, we'll go like this, and like this, and like this, and we're going to go like this, and like this. And this is going to look like 
something like barn doors, they'll kind of slide over this. Because if you've ever seen a barn in real life, uh, there's these large kind of sliding doors that'll go over uh, like that. Uh, so yeah, those are basically the barn doors here. I don't know if they look super cool or not, but either way, there they are. And we'll just do those over here as well. Uh, just setting this in one block. In fact, actually, we might keep this one the same. We'll keep this one like this, and we'll have those ones a little bit different. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, the one last thing is there's usually a couple windows in here. Uh, there's oftentimes a windows on the top here, like this. Let's see if I can actually get to the top. I... Okay, let's see if we can do this. So... Basically, the top is just about around here. I'll just place some temporarily, uh, temporary white concrete here. Let's see if we break this. That is exactly where you want to be, yes. So we'll go like this, and we're going to make a nice window here, because for whatever reason, there's usually a window right here in a barn. Uh, so we'll do that, and right about in the center, we can know because of the door. That's about right here. Is that two blocks there? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we'll just go like this, and I think I was thinking what kind of color of glass would this have? Probably white, because it mixes with the red and white rather well. And red glass is not really something you'd want. So we'll go like this, and then we'll basically make ourselves a nice window like this. So, was that six? I think this is a little bit off, so we'll go like this. And we can go up like this, like that. And we're basically just going to make a frame around this uh, of white. We could even see what it looked like without the white frame, really. Uh, so we'll do half of it with white, half of it with red, just to kind of experiment and see which one looks better. Uh, let's see here, we'll just finish this up like this. Take a look out here. And I think that the white frame looks better. So we'll do that, but it's always good to see if it does look better. Alright, there we go. We'll break this and replace this with white. And this should actually be a super cool looking uh, window, as there's always that kind of window in a barn. I think that really completes the look a lot. And we'll do the exact same thing on this side as well. So we'll just kind of fly up here. Oh, that was so close to being perfect, but not quite. So I better eat some food before I die here from a uh, collision. Uh, so basically, we'll go like this. Or I guess we don't want these planks. We want uh, this. All right, and we'll go across like this. And again, do the same thing. Basically, just making a window just about in the shape that the door was, uh, which is rather basically pretty easy here. And we we'll may as well put some torches across here too so we don't end up running into any mobs that spawn here, like a creeper that might spawn up here and fall down onto our heads, uh, would not be the best idea at all. So that's pretty awesome, and we'll go across here like this, and get ourselves our nice window. So, here we go. About the middle, again, I guess we'll just break through. Here we go, uh, and it's about here. So we'll go across like this, making this just about like this, that should be good. Alright, and then we'll make ourselves the window, here's the glass. Is that four across? Perfect. And we'll go like this, and we'll have the glass uh, just like it was on the other one. So like this, and then across like this, and like this. And I thought there would be not enough red when I do that, but it actually still works really well with the amount of red we have. So again, going across like this and like this. I'm not actually sure why burns are usually red. It might be something about like the way they would treat the wood. I'm not sure. Looks like Jonas is looking at that with his spyglass, which is pretty cool. We can actually see our watchtower over there as well. So, this is looking almost done on the exterior. I think it's actually turned out rather well. Oh, actually, that should be there. Like this. And this is actually looking really cool. Uh, so, what we're going to want to do is basically see if there's any other windows we're going to want on the inside. I'm going to say probably yes. Uh, so, we'll add those real quickly, and then that should be the exterior of this barn done. And in the next episode, we'll do the interior. Uh, there should be windows here, but there could be windows here. So... Let's say maybe, uh, we'll do it from the inside actually. We'll go like this, and we'll go uh, two, or I shouldn't punch these really because they break quite easily. Uh, so two, three, four, five, six. So let's say break here. Maybe a bit close so we could have four away like that. That could be the edge. And of course these will be at least one off the ground, uh, even with the frame. So we'll go maybe like, uh, maybe not too big of windows. So that could be the frame right there. Uh, so it could basically be something like uh, this, and then there would be the frame in there. Because uh, we're kind of making it so we can put the white frame in there quite easily. Uh, something like this might work well. Is that is that correct there? Let's see. Uh, I think that's pretty good there. And then we'll just do the same thing uh, over here. So that was about four blocks away from the bottom. That does look like it, yes. So I will go like this. Actually, maybe we'll just do two windows. One there and one over here. So we'll go uh, one, two, three, four. And then from here, that'll be the edge. So one, two, three, uh, one, two, one, two, three, like this. And we'll have a nice two by six window here. That'll be a really nice view out of this window here, I think. And we may as well have these windows be double thick, just to add a bit of a 3D look. 
uh, because it's always nice to kind of have things look as 3D as possible, as I was saying earlier. So we'll place all this in like this and place all this in like this, uh, giving ourselves our nice frame there on the window. If it doesn't look too weird and we'll put that in like this and we'll do the same thing over here. And if it does look weird, we can always just get rid of the 3D part on the other side. You know what, I think these windows would actually look a lot better if we remove all the blocks from the bottom here and all the blocks from the top here, and then actually just have uh, windows like this with straight white on the sides. Just for these side windows, I think the windows up here look great with the frame, uh, but I think that the window right here actually looks a lot better like this. And while we're at it, we may as well add four of them. So I'll do that real quick. Yeah, so just a five by two space, putting some of this white concrete on the sides like this and putting some white stained glass in there like that. And I think that looks really, really cool with these windows like this. So there we go. There's basically the exterior of our barn and the next episode will make the interior. If you guys enjoyed this episode by iCraftMC on how to make an amazing red barn, make sure to press the like button. Make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Make sure to share this video with your friends and be sure to comment down whatever you like. I'll see you in the next video and have a good day. Goodbye.